Hey guys, so it is about 2.24 and I'm still working on the mobile application. The reason why I want to do a video like this is just to show you that, you know, it takes a lot of work to release a mobile app. I'm, I'm really excited about the features that I added. I've been working on the text ability to move the text around in AR, also allowing, selecting multiple texts. Basically, you can change the font. You can also change the text size. And I've been having a lot of issues with the anchor points and actually moving the text around. So I, I had to stay up late as well to do another YouTube video. So I am really excited about everything, but it's been, you know, it's late. I am really tired, but I want to show you today what I, what I have so far for the text selection. And then tomorrow I'm going to be continuing doing, you know, more videos on the updates that I'm doing to the app. My, my goal is to release the app in, like I said, in the previous videos in quarter one. So I'm going to be trying to work more on the augmented reality videos more than anything that I've done in the past because I really want to release that. I also recently uploaded my procedural generator to the asset store. So there's a lot of things that I'm doing. I'm also doing social media and I'm trying to get everything up and going. But if you don't see a lot of videos from me on the other topics, I'm going to be doing that, you know, as soon as I finish the app. And then as soon as I launch that app, I'm going to have a lot more different content. So let's go ahead and jump into Unity and look at some of the latest features. And then, you know, by the next video, hopefully I'll have the app very close to being that having that feature done. So let's jump into it and start looking at it. All right, guys, so let me show you what I have so far for the app. I show you the text selection, but I added more fonts since the last video that I created. I'm going to hit play and show you the results. So if we go into the text mode by just clicking on these buttons on the top left corner, and then now I can select, you know, multiple, actually add multiple text, and I can use the hand icon to do a selection. So if I want to do, say that I want to select that text and change the font. Now I have a lot of different fonts because I've been adding multiple. So if I want to use Futura, I can do that, or Lemon Milk, and some of these weird names that honestly I have no idea what they what they mean, if they mean anything. So if we go, I think I had one that was, oh, okay, yeah, it was the joystick mono space. This is more of a pixelated version of a font. So I can do that. I can, you know, I can resize it, of course, if I want to resize it. If I want to make it a smaller, I can do that. I can also do the same thing with it, this text here. If I want to do, you know, different style there. And then also if I do this one here. So it's really fast. It works really, really well. So I'm really happy about this this new feature so the one that i want to show you is to say that we want to add new text and this is a feature that i i work on is being able to add text and it was going to you know i want to make my life easier if i want to add more text what do i need to do so let's say i'm on a mac and, and you can do this in windows but you need to look for the the text files so the actual font file so if i search for font book in my mac i can just you know see every single font that is available on my computer you can of course buy fonts as well online and then find the ones that you like for the app but let's say that i want to add i'm just going to add one that you know i may i may want to have on the final app so just gonna go look around and see which one so let's say that i want to add the this one right here i'll just do the i'm not gonna try to pronounce that because i'm not gonna be able to so i'm just gonna show in finder and then I'll just close this so the important thing here is to know that we need to locate the TTC file in this case. So I have this folder which is called fonts. So I just drag it and drop it. So this is how easy it is to add fonts if I need to add fonts into the app. And the cool thing that I'm using is I'm using the TeshMesh Pro. And they have, the creator has a really cool asset. So I can go into font asset creator. I can select which font I want to create an atlas from. So if I click on this icon, and then we just search for the one that we just added and then just click on generate font atlas it's going to create the texture for me so i can just then click on save and then i just select the you know the area where i want to save them i'm going to put it under resources and this is where i have all the other fonts so i'm just going to save it there and then hit save so that saved it into the location where i have the other fonts so if you go here and we search for the for that font that i just added i'm going to try to say helveltica <laughs> If I said that right, 
and and then so now that we have that I can go into my phone options and I'm going to I'm just going to click on hold the F key to to zoom in and show you that so so it's going to be that drop down so all I really need to do because I have everything already coded is go into the inspector and then I have this one sorted by name so I try to keep everything really organized so all I need to do is just you know just type that name so I'm going to say Helvetica I think I said that right and let me just make sure that yeah that matches and then I normally just sort it so I'll just put it after the F here and then that's everything that I need to do to make sure that the that, that phone is added so I'm just going to hit play and we're going to see now we should be able to see so if I go here to text and I add a couple of them then I go into the grabbing mode and we can say we can see if it's in there it looks like it's in there and looks like the one that I have selected is a little bit it's very similar to to that one so it's really hard to see the difference but that's basically how you add let's go ahead and add a different one I think let's find one that and let me make sure that I type that correctly so I'm going to go ahead and just copy that name let's go here and make sure that I didn't mess messed up with the because it is 12 to 2 31 a.m. so I'm pretty sure Helvetica no it looks it looks like it's right so so what I'm gonna do I think that one is just way too similar to the the other ones that I the other one that I have so what I'm gonna do is let's say that I want to remove it right so in that case I could go in and just you know delete the SDF file we can also go into fonts and then also delete that font and I'm gonna go back to my phone book and let's find one that is you know it looks just really different than anything else that I have it that I have there I know this one is really different because it's really thin so I'm just gonna go ahead and and in this case I'm just going to let's go ahead and just click on showing finder and then I'm just gonna copy that name so that we have it so let me go ahead and right click on it and let's go ahead and drag it and drop it so let's go here drag it and drop it here so you'll see the process twice because I messed up on the first one I selected one font that didn't it was really hard to see the difference between the one that I already had so in this case I want to do this Jill Sands that one is easy to pronounce and the reason why it's hard for me to pronounce because I'm from South America so some words are really hard for me to say so and you probably know that if you watch some of my previous videos so anyway so if I go here and I hit save so now I should have an atlas for the font that I use at it so if we go here and we do have one and I'm gonna go back into my phone options and let's locate the one that we just added so I'm just going to just go ahead and rename it to Jill Sands perfect and it actually lands there perfectly after the F and I think that's correct so let's go ahead and hit play and see if that looks any different if no I have a bug and then I'll have to fix it but I think it should work so it's gonna do do that and let's go ahead and select a different one let's go ahead and select one that is right beneath the menu and then I'll just do yeah so in this case it did work so you can see that that looks different than the the other one can also do you know I can go through and then just do multiple selection and the, the cool thing with this is it's gonna work in AR so this just allows me to test in the editor and then you know when I'm ready I can push it to the to the actual device so that's everything that I wanted to show you today I want to keep it really short because I want to do these videos more concise and then it's also 2 33 a.m. and I'm really tired but anyways that's everything that I wanted to show you guys if you guys have any questions let me know and then probably tomorrow I'll be releasing another video because I have to work on some other features finish up the effects and also the motions and then hopefully by next week these three areas which is the drawing the effects and the motions will be wrapped up and then all I really have to do is just make sure that it works on multiple iOS devices so everything that I wanted to show you guys thank you very much